Hey guys, it's Mr. Chase again with our another video about geometry. Today we're going to be learning about triangles. Make sure you have your note sheet handy. If you don't, go to Schoology, make sure you're printed off, okay? And again today we have an essential question where we're going to be answering how are triangles classified? How are triangles classified? Let's get into it. So really, okay, there are two ways that you're going to classify triangles. They can be by the triangle's sides and by angles. So by sides and by angles. And let's start by taking a look at the different sides of a triangle, okay? So one of the terms we have here is equilateral, right? The little abbreviation here, the, the part of the beginning, equi, meaning that all sides are equal, okay? And it looks like they're all equal from the triangle, but to make sure that it definitely is, what they do is they use these little tick marks. They have these little marks on there. Now, if it has just one mark, any other side that has just that one mark on it as well means that it's going to be equal to it. So this has one, this has one, this has one. So that means they're all the same. Okay? So that's equilateral. All sides are the same. An isosceles triangle, the second one, isosceles, where two sides are equal. Well, again, they use those little marks. Okay, but notice it's not on all three sides, it's on this long side and this long side, meaning that these two are, okay? And they probably could have drawn a couple of marks through this one as well, but they're not gonna put one mark because that would send it back to being an equilateral one, right? Instead, they're gonna put two marks to signify that these two are the longer sides equal to each other, and then the bottom one is not equal to them, it's a different length, okay? In this case, it's smaller. And then we have the one scalene, where no sides of the triangle are the same. And notice what they did here, right? They did one, and then they did two marks, and then they did three marks, showing that all three are of different lengths, okay? So we have uh, all of them are the same, we have just two of them the same, and then no sides are the same, and that's equilateral, and isosceles, and scalene. Make sure you have that down in your notes. Pause the video if I went, was going too fast there. Pause the video, make sure you have this down, okay? Even if it means pausing it and drawing these examples, that's probably a great idea, okay? Okay, so how else can we, can we classify triangles? We can class, classify them by their angles, okay? So, acute. When the largest angle is acute, then we call that an acute triangle. Well, acute, as we know, is less than 90 degrees, and that one's less than 90, and this one is less than 90, and this one is. So its largest angle is acute, therefore this would be an acute triangle, okay? Well, what about this one? A right triangle, when the largest angle is 90 degrees, okay? Well, again, I'm gonna start here. That is an acute angle. That is an acute angle. But this box here in the corner, that represents a perfect corner, just like the page, uh, you know, in your book, page on the homework, right? The page from the note sheet that you're using. That means 90 degrees. So therefore, this triangle would be a right triangle, okay? and an obtuse triangle, right? When the largest angle is greater than 90 degrees. Let me see if I can go through these ones. This is an acute angle, this is an acute angle, but this one, right, it's not 90, it's larger than 90. We know that's an obtuse angle, therefore this is con considered an obtuse triangle, right? So those are the three ways where you can you know, categorize classify an angle, uh, a triangle according to its angles. Acute, when it's largest is an acute, when it's largest is an, uh, a right triangle, when it's largest is an obtuse one, okay? All right, let's keep going. Again, pause it if you have to, all right? Make sure you got those pictures down. Okay, how about a, a triangle's angles? Now, all triangles, whether it's an acute, whether it's a scalene, whether it's a right, whether it's isosceles, all triangles, always have angles that add up to 180 degrees. Every single triangle, okay? So all of these ones that we just went through, 180, 180, 180, the angles are always gonna be 180, 180, 180. So we can use that as a reference, right, to find a missing angle, okay? So really what we have here is we have the three angles 
and they're always going to equal 180 degrees. Well, I'm gonna make my first angle X, and my second angle is gonna be to 38, my third angle is gonna be to 73. We already know uh, 73 plus 38 is 100, 110, 111, and I'm gonna try to solve for this one. Using algebra, I know I'll subtract 111 on both sides. Okay, x equals, I'll do this quickly, that turns to a seven and I'm borrowing nine. Seven minus the one is six, the one minus the one is zero. That means that missing angle has to be the leftover 69 degrees on this, okay? Because I know that, I can take a triangle that looks totally different, right? I can take a triangle that's not an acute triangle, but a right triangle, and I can find its missing angle up here with Z. Locate that one on your note sheet, okay? Three angles, and they're gonna add up to 180 degrees, and let's fill them in. I have my variable as my first one, Z. I have a 28, and then I have, oh no, that's right, it's 90 degrees. 90 degrees for that one. Let's add those together. 90 plus uh, 28 is 118. And I'm gonna subtract those on both sides. 118 minus 118. I'll do that subtraction here for us. And that turns to a two. This is seven, so it's gonna be six. 62 uh, degrees, not percent. That's my mistake. 62 degrees, all right? Now, the last triangle, even though it's an obtuse triangle, okay, even though it has that one angle, K, okay, that's gonna be greater than 90 degrees, I can still treat it as if it were any type of triangle, all angles get added together to equal 180. Well, K is the one I'm looking for, and I have a 21 and a 21. Wait a minute, if I have two angles that are the same, that must mean that these sides are also the same. This is an isosceles obtuse triangle, okay? 21 plus 21 is 42. 42 is gonna get subtracted from 180. Okay, K equals, that turns to a seven again. Eight, that's a three, that's a one. 138 degrees. That's a little bit about triangles today, all right? How to classify them according to sides according to their angles, and then a little bit about their angles, how they always equal 180. I can find the missing sign by using my algebra, okay? That's it for today. Thanks again. Thanks for watching.